Hi, I'm your therapist. Hi. Are you depressed? Yes. I'm sorry to hear that. Your whole life's a fucking mess. <laughs> what? Let me guess. You've got some childhood trauma. Uh huh. Maybe didn't get enough love from your mama. Bitch, I'm a therapist. Good afternoon, everybody. It is a beautiful, it's only like 74 degrees today after 90s the last five days. This actually feels real, real good. Anyway, I did get my new ECU for the Mazda. Now, let me show you this. Here's the old one. There's the old one. See how that first letter there is 4J, and then there's a whole serial number. Now, and all the other ones that I got, that 4J, it was always a different combination of letters. Now, they say that the, that does not matter as much as the other numbers. But what I found interesting is because, like, the first one I got was, like, a 8K. And then the second one I got, I think, was, like, a 3W or something like that. But this one is actually exactly the same. 4J, 4J, and then the number... The number so with that being said hopefully they finally got it right I'm gonna pop it in the Mazda there I got to put it together on the side of the battery case I'm gonna get that put it in and uh, then I gotta I still gotta look through that uh, programmer thing that I found to see if I can even um, do a key with that otherwise I gotta call the guy have him come back um, so I'm gonna get that together get it going in there now and then the next day or two, I'll mess with that uh, programmer code reader. See if I can find out how to program a key with that. Like I said, initially looking into it, I'm not really sure it has a key programmer like it said it was supposed to. I don't know yet. I don't know a whole lot about those things. I'm still learning it. So I'm going to take a couple days and try to learn it and see if I can uh, figure it out. If not, I'll call the guy back. Give him another hundred bucks. Maybe he'll give me a discount because I've used them so much in the last month. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to start putting that together. Get it in. And we'll see what happens from there forward. I will bring you along as I go. Later. Guys, as you just seen, I just put that in, hooked it all back up, all locked in, pretty sure. Now, I'm pretty sure my key ain't going to work, but I will be able to tell if the dashboard lights up properly without... Uh, all kinds of errors and stuff like the very first one as soon as i put the key in everything was flashing i knew something wasn't right the second one everything lit up normally it just wouldn't read the crankshaft sensor so now this one i'm going to try it like i said i'm pretty sure it's not going to start but at least i'll be able to tell if the dash lights up properly so let's see what happens here Okay, transmission light off. Looks like it says park. Okay, the engine light is on. Price of Lose hello. weight and look right this summer with seven. Hello. Okay, the engine light is on, which is normal. Okay, now it's flashing for some reason. That's usually not good. Um, oh no, actually, I think it's trying to read the key. Um, yeah, it does that once it tries to read the key. Now the oil light is on, which is normal because um, the car ain't running and the power steering light is on because the car ain't running. So, so far everything looks good, I think. Pretty sure. I wonder if it'll start. Ready? Try it. Nope, didn't think so. <laughs> Alright guys, well, everything looks normal. Now I just gotta go and... Uh, 
go through start looking at that uh, code reader programmer that they said is supposed to program keys but like I said I haven't been able to figure that out yet so that being said I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna put the cover over the ECU back on here I'm not gonna strap the battery down I'm not gonna strap anything and finish installing everything until I can figure out if it's actually gonna work or not so looks good so far but so did the second one until we went to start it so I will keep you updated as we go along later guys what is up everybody I am here in the Mazda as you can tell maybe now you can um, <clears throat> now I have I just got the third ECU for this car. Now, I did put it in. Um, I got it all set up. Now, I know the key does not work because I have tried it, which it's, it's right here. Does not work. Okay. Now, this, I got this. Let's see if I can do this here with you. I got this. This is an OBD reader, which has a... Uh, key programmer in it to program the keys and the reason where can I put this the reason that I got this is because for the cost of this if these if this ECU is not right or even if it is right um, the cost of getting this thing as opposed to getting the keys reprogrammed over and over and over again Basically, I would be breaking even, but then I would also have a nice little, very good um, OBD car code reader. So, I just plugged it in. Um, it did read the vehicle, which it does. So, is it okay? You're going to go through this with me. I'm going to um, try to program the key, and we're going to see if this actually works here. So, here we go. Model 2004. That's all the information that is all correct. Now, I, st I started going through this a couple times before um, already, but um, I kept asking me questions and I didn't understand what it was. So over the past several days, I've been doing um, research on going through it and see. So there we go. Vehicle specifications, that's right. Okay. It's going to have to... Okay, goes through scanning this stuff here, which I already did all this. So it's got to go through the thing. And there we go, there's the thing. Okay, I don't need that. I need to go back home. Now, reset is where I want to go to. Exit, yes. Okay. Reset. And current diagnosis, I did. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back again. Here we go. Okay, 2004. Okay. All right, let me get to the right screen and then I'll get back with you. Five minutes later. All right, guys, well, it didn't work. It goes through the whole thing, and then when I get to the very end, it says that it can't communicate with the module. So I don't know why. And I tried several different steps, you know, spare key, complete reset, all that kind of stuff. And it, for some reason, it's just, it's not taking in. It's not working. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not 100% familiar on how to use this thing, but it went through all the steps. It got to the very end, and then it said that it can't communicate with the module. So I guess I'm going to have to call them and have one key done, I guess, and then uh, we'll go from there. Later, guys. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. I am here at my Mazda, and check this out. You ready for this? Here we go. Starts up. I've got no lights on the dash. Seems to be running smooth. I had to have the guy come out and uh, program the key. I couldn't get my module to work. And I was talking to him about that because I asked him what kind he has and everything. And uh, he said that he actually has a little bit windy out today. I'm going to try to get out of the wind here. Um, 
he actually has like four different modules because from what he told me they don't all work for every single car the one that I have apparently doesn't work for the Mazda here now he said it'll probably work on most other cars but for some reason it won't work he said that's why he has like four different ones because he's run into it where he's the one that he uses all the time won't program a key for a certain car so he's got to go get a different module and uh, hook that one up and then that one will work kind of weird I don't know you think they'd all be the same have the same type of software but anyway mine doesn't work for my particular car which is normal for my life because nothing works with everything that I have normally everything is always a bit of a hassle but anyway I'm gonna go take this out for a drive right now around the neighborhood just to see how everything performs and hopefully no errors will pop up and everything will work fine I got my fingers crossed I'm not 100% sure but I do have my fingers crossed so I'm gonna go take it for a drive now see what happens and I'll let you know when I get back a little longer than a few minutes later all right guys well just got back from my test drive <sighs> went around the neighborhood stopped accelerated all that other kind of stuff that i always did and everything is working normal <laughs> everything is working the car it's shifting nice and smooth between first second third gear where the, for the last several years i've had a real hard bump especially going from first to uh to second gear it, got, it was a real hard hard shift and that's what was happening it was getting worse and worse and worse and worse and then finally it just locked itself into third gear and wouldn't do anything because the tcm was going bad but yeah this thing so far now i didn't go very far i just went around the neighborhood the only thing, let me close this up here. I was letting it run to let the battery charge a little bit, but uh, I'll do that a little bit later. But um, yeah, what's ha what ha what was happening? I think I might have told you, but um, it was shifting. The TCM was going, so it wasn't shifting properly. It was uh, hard shifting and locking in third gear. Just took it for a drive around the neighborhood, shifting very very smooth first second third fourth gear the only thing i did notice with it is it has a little bit of a hesitation if i try to step on the gas a little bit which i know um there is a bit of a learning process for the computer the first several times you drive the car it has to learn um the engine and all that stuff so um gonna be driving it the next couple days i'm not gonna take it to work yet because it's a 36 mile ride all on highway i want to make sure this is good first um what i might do tomorrow afternoon is take it up on the highway maybe just up an exit or two and uh see how that goes but yeah so far everything is working perfectly the speedometer works i've got no lights on the dash i'm expecting the thermostat light to come back on because i know that's bad but uh yeah, shifting real smooth. It hasn't ran like that in years. Only cost me twice as much as it should have because if they would have gotten that thing right the first time, it would have only cost me, um, you know, $200 in keys. But I actually spent $300 in keys. I actually spent more in key programming than I did for the unit itself. But so far, this one test drive, it's working great. Now, I will keep you updated over the next several weeks or so because I'm going to start driving it more and more to get it, um, have the computer learn the car and all that stuff a little bit because there's a procedure about driving it so that the computer will learn the ignition and, and everything like that. So that's going to take a few days to do that. Um, but yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy I finally got this thing right. And I still, even though I spent more than I should have, I'm still saving over $1,000 if I would have taken it in somewhere and had them do it. So it was a long road. It was completely all together um, from the time it went out. Well, it sat for like two months after it went out because I waited till after the holidays. But like for the last two and a half months, I've been dealing with this ECU problem with this company from New York. And... Uh, they finally got it right after the third time they finally got it right so yeah i'm happy as of now <laughs> put it that way i'm happy as of now i know it's kind of windy i hope this ain't messing with this but uh 
yeah i'm just gonna sit down and relax now for a little bit uh, i might do a little bit of research on the learning process for a new ecu in the cars um on how to drive it and everything i know there's a certain pattern that you have to drive that'll help it learn faster so i'm gonna look into that tonight and i'm gonna take it out for a ride tomorrow and we'll see what happens later guys well, all right guys it is a beautiful little bit windy still it's been windy the last couple days a little bit windy i think it's 83 today or something but anyway i think i can finally completely put this all back together i got the front of the cover here i need to put on i need to secure the battery in the bracket put the head cover back on there so i'm gonna do that now i've taken it for um like four test drives just a couple around the neighborhood and i took one up uh, the street up there to the store everything seems to be good so far everything seems to be normal um yeah just gonna just gonna keep testing it probably for the next week or so before i uh, end up taking it on the highway um i might take it on the highway up an exit i think i might have said this already take it up an exit back just to make sure it works okay on the highway before i end up taking it all the way into work uh, which is 36 miles i'm pretty sure i told you this already but yeah i'm gonna be testing it for the next week or so but it looks like they finally got it right three tries it took them three tries so you know that old saying third time's a charm i guess it is so far i'm not counting it completely good yet because i have to finish testing it for the next week or so but as of right now everything is working exactly like it should actually better better than what my old one was doing for several years this thing is running fantastic right now anyway i'm gonna dive in and pop that stuff back together and then just relax for the rest of the day later guys mm -hmm. And there we go guys, everything is now back together. Awesome, I still need to fix this, I gotta do that. This is the hose for my windshield washer fluid. Um, the little connector broke, so I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do that today, I'm gonna work on that another day, but I gotta do that and then, uh, yeah, that's it for now guys, later.